I don't know what he calls it, but he's your blood, Daddy. Amen. We love and appreciate it. Amen. Um, I believe that new brothers from the sink I played in the center for the time being. Um, through the many years that uh, I have a I have pastor, I've had young preachers come up through, and I try to be a good mentor to them. And some of them are already out pastoring and evangelizing. But uh, I always count it an honor when they could go anywhere and ask any pastor they could sit on and give advice. Uh, they chose to sit here. And I appreciate that. And we're going to speak for us tonight. Amen. Brother Corey Turner's coming. Corey. One of our young ministers. Amen. <laughs> to speak for us tonight. Give him your undivided attention. Amen. You know, I, I, I like to see the Bible says grow in the knowledge of the Lord. Amen. And one of the most precious thing that I ever did was listen to my elders when I was starting out. And I'd like to say every one of the ministers in the year honor me as an elder, even Tommy. And I believe they would listen to every bit of advice I'd give them. And we appreciate every one of our young men, don't we? Amen. And young lady, amen, Sister Christine. Amen. She listened to me, wasn't you? <laughs> Brenda, amen. You just don't know who's going to preach for them to come here on a Wednesday night. We'd love to give them a chance. Sometimes that's about all they get is a chance here. Amen. And we love and appreciate. So give Brother Corey a big hand as he comes to give us the word tonight. I'd like to say we appreciate our visitors from Texas. Woo. Amen. We <laughs> come here when they lived in Jacksonville. And uh, y'all have to excuse me about names. Because I have a hard time sometimes remembering that name sitting on the front there, Purple. <laughs> no, I, have. I have a hard time remembering his name. <laughs> but we do appreciate y'all. Tell your mom we said hi and look forward to seeing her again. Amen. All the way from Texas. Amen. Amen. How many is glad to be in the house of the Lord tonight? Amen. Amen. Still Jake's line. You might cry about it, but you'll be all right. Amen. How many enjoyed that watch night service? Amen. Amen. Enjoyed it. Good time the Lord felt God. Amen. I think the highlight of my night was Bailey. And maybe God touched her and used her beautiful song, beautiful singer. But I thank God for my church. I thank God for y'all. Amen. And everything that God's done for me in 2018. Looking forward to 2019. Amen. He's been good to me throughout last year. Looking forward to what he has in store for me this year. Amen. I'm going to be in Acts chapter 16, beginning in verse 16. Amen. I ate so many black eyed peas over the New Year holiday, I think I gained about five or six pounds. Well. Amen. Well. What's that? Well. Yeah. Amen. Acts chapter 16, beginning in verse 16. Just say amen when you're there. Amen. amen. Still hear some pages turn. Amen. Beginning in verse 16, bear with me here. And it came to pass, as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by Sue, saying, The same followed Paul in us, and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which show us unto the way of salvation. And this did she many days, but Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same hour. And when her master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrates, saying, These men, being Jews, do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe, being Romans. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates rent off their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard there. In verse 26, being my main scripture, it says, And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loose. Brother Tony Walker, would you pray for us tonight? Father God, we thank you again for your word. We know it's anointed. 
We ask now, Lord, that you anoint our brother, Lord, with the fresh anointing of the Holy Ghost. We ask, Lord God, that you would give him the liberty, Lord, to, to minister your word and the thoughts that you have placed in his mind and heart tonight. We pray tonight that you would anoint our ears to hear and our hearts to receive. Help us each one, Lord, to be receptive and obedient to the voice of God. And Lord, we again, we thank you for letting us feel your presence and your spirit. If there's anyone lost here tonight, we pray that the conviction power of the Holy Ghost would overshadow them, Lord, and that you would loose them and save them and deliver them tonight. We ask that your will be accomplished through this service. We thank you, Lord, for helping and using our brother. In Jesus' name. <clears throat> Amen. Thank you, Lord. Now, if you look throughout the book of Acts, specifically in chapter 16, we began to learn about Paul and Silas. Amen. They would be of what we think today was on fire, man, for God. Amen. They did the work for the Lord. They cast out demons in Jesus' name. They did miracles in Jesus' name. And they went all about. They were pretty much evangelists. Amen. And they preached about the land of the gospel. Amen. Now, but we look at this the specific time, and we see that Paul and Silas, the Bible says that they were going to prayer, and they became across a woman who was demon-possessed, and she just began to come up to them, amen, and follow them around. The Bible says that she followed them around literally for days at a time. I don't know about you, but if a woman began to follow me around for days especially, I began to think, hey, there's something wrong with this woman. She's cuckoo for coca puffs. She must have been knocked in a noggin or something. Amen. There's something wrong with this lady. And Paul was able to discern that through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. That she was of the devil. Amen. So he turns around. Amen. And he cast the devil out of Praise God. Amen. She's free. Amen. She doesn't have the enemy inside her anymore. That should be something to shout about. But the issue of this was that Paul and Silas were in Roman country, and Paul and Silas being Jews were not welcome to be preaching Jesus, were not welcome to do anything right. about Jesus. That sounds like kind of today, amen, Jesus isn't allowed in the schools anymore. He's not allowed basically in anything anymore. Amen. Just like today, there was a famine of Jesus preaching in this land. Amen. But Paul and Silas knew that they had to do it, amen, because they were under the power of God, amen, to go into this country. Did my mic go off? I don't think so. To go into this country, amen, and preach God. Amen. amen. But we see further that Paul and Silas were brought into the center of the city. And they were being sentenced, and amen, they were being judged for crimes that appeared to be in this land so serious, amen. But I don't know, Brother Ronnie, I kind of flipped through my Bible, and I was kind of getting stumped. But I couldn't find that Paul and Silas had done anything wrong. No. I didn't find that Paul and Silas had committed any kind of crime right. other than doing the work of God. Amen. Right. Does anybody know that you don't have to do anything wrong for the enemy to get on your back? You don't have to do anything wrong for the enemy to feed you a bunch of lies? Brother Tommy, I would think that some, I would get worried sometimes if the enemy didn't come every now and then and try to come into my mind and speak a bunch of speak a bunch of mess, amen, because that's why, I mean, he does this kind of stuff because he knows that you're doing a work for God, he knows that you're on fire for God, doing what you're supposed to do, yeah. reading your word, and that's the same thing with Paul and Silas that the enemy was trying to do, only thing it was, was a little hindrance in Paul and Silas' life, uh -huh. amen, that we look throughout the chapter, and we see that Paul and Silas are beaten, amen, and they're thrown, the Bible says that they're thrown into the deep part of the prison, amen, and they are, they're their hands are shackled up. Their feet are shackled up. And I'll be honest with you, this is a no bueno kind of situation. It's not good. Amen. It doesn't look good. And I believe any other kind of Christian might have said, you know what, devil? You got me. You know, I'm yeah. shackled up. My feet are shackled up. I'm done. I can't go nowhere from here. I'm literally stuck in the bottom of a prison with no hope to hold. And my God is God. I did everything that you told me to do. I came into this land. I preached with everything that I've had. I've cast out demons. And I've been thrown into the prison. God, you know what? I mean, here. I'm done. You know, yeah. I'm done. You can have me on whatever God has done. Amen. That's the kind of mindset that we as Christians today were so easy to let the enemy come and take our testimony and say, here you go, devil. You got me. I'm in chains. I'm in shackles. There's no way out of here. Amen. And that's exactly what the enemy wants to do in our life. I believe there's one goal that the enemy has for a child of God, and that's to get them to quit. That's to get them to give up. But Paul and Silas had a little bit of a different mindset on it. 
Right. Paul and Silas kind of thought a little bit different on the matter. He uh -huh. said, my God is not just going to bring me into a foreign land just so I can die in a prison. Amen. My God has called me, and I know I've heard the voice of God. Yeah. My God has, amen, anointed me to preach the word of God. Right. He's not going to sit idly by while I sit here and die in a prison. Amen. So God has called me, amen, to do this exact work. And he said, if God has brought me into this situation, he is going to bring me through this situation. Amen. Right. I'm not going to sit here. Amen. God is not going to sit there and watch a child that has done his work and die. He said, if he brought the Israelites out of Egypt, he can bring them out. If he brought Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego out, he can bring them out. If he brought Abel, the son, he can bring them out. My God, somebody, I wish you would get a hold tonight. But no matter how dark a situation is, no matter how hard it may seem, these men are cast down into the very depths of a prison. But they, the Bible goes on to say that they shouted so loud that God had caused the earthquake, that the prison door swung open on all of their chains fell off. Child of God, I don't know what's going on in your life. Don't know what you're doing. Don't know what kind of situations you had in 2018. But God wants me to bring a point out tonight. No matter what happens in 2019, He wants you to know whatever you do, do not quit. Do not give up serving God. Do not stop fasting. Do not stop seeking God. Because that's exactly what the enemy wants to do. But Paul and Silas, God forbid, these chains and, and these shackles are going to be the one thing that stops me. Devil, you think this is going to stop me from shouting my heels off? You think this is going to stop me from coming to church? There's going to be trials, Brother Ronnie. There's going to be things that we go through, trials and situations that the enemy likes to place in our path to make us think that there's no way out. Come on, somebody. But we as children of God need to stand up firm on the Word of God saying, no matter how kind of situation it is, no matter how dark it may seem, no matter how it looks like, I'm not going to make it out of the situation. But my God has came through time and time again. Amen. And I'm going to march through hell with a water pistol if yeah. I have to. And I'm going yeah. forward with Jesus no matter what the devil says. And I'm going to have victory. Yeah. Amen. 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 Me and Bill always talk about sometimes we kind of joke about youth camp. And uh, talk about youth being youth camp saved. And, <coughs> you know, you go there yeah. one day. You've been living, been living like the devil the whole year. Come every year and you get saved. It's, got, it's a joke, but it's not. Amen. I, don't get me wrong. I love these camp. They do a great job. Amen. Yeah. yeah. And we get them saved and we get them to the first step. We get them to the point, okay, God, here I am. Sorry for my sins. Boom. Done. That's it. Amen. No, but we teach them how to get there. But we don't teach them how to stay that way. So the moment that August 8th, the first day of school comes, amen, the moment that their friend starts coming up, they're cussing, they're just back to the same point, amen, because they have no substance. They don't know how to fight the enemy. But church, there's going to, like I said, there's going to be trials and things where we're going to, literally going to have to fight the enemy. Amen, he's going to come to you with lies. He's going to come to you with trials. Amen, and we need to stand firm and not give up so easy, church. There's a world, a dying world that is going to lost to hell. Amen, and we need to stand firm on this word and say, no no matter what the enemy does in my life, no matter how kind of hard the temptation may be, I'm going forward with God. Amen. Amen. I'm not going to give up in 2019. I'm Amen. not going to allow the enemy to tell the lies that he did in 2018. Right. Amen. I'm going to keep firm. Did you know that you can actually stay, stay saved all year? Did you know that you can live it? Amen. You don't have to keep going back and forth. God, I'm sorry. I'm right. doing this. And then I'm going over here. And I'm sinning again. Then I'm sorry. But I'm, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, Cycle, you always say you're sorry, but you go back to the same stuff. Amen. Because the enemy has, broke, has put chains on your life and shackles, and he's made you believe that you can't make a joy come in the morning. What if we can stay firm in our trial and realize that there's always going to be a way out? If you're a child of God tonight, I want to bring out a scripture. Amen. I was young, but now I'm old, and I've never seen the righteous forsaken or God's seed begging for bread. Meaning that no matter what goes on in your life, no matter what the enemy tells you and tells you a bunch of junk, my God can come through for you, believe it or not. Yeah. I believe in this word completely. Hallelujah. And Amen. Amen. God's Amen. been coming through time and time again for me in my life. Amen. I failed, and we all have failures. We all have struggles and things that we face. Amen. But God has still, I mean, He's he literally saved my life. Amen. God has, God has literally walked through me through so much, amen, that I thought was going to be the death of me. But I held on to God. That's the main thing that I want to bring up tonight. Don't quit, church. Don't give up. 
Don't right. stop praying right. just because the enemy wants you to. Yeah, he's the devil. He's out to get you and he wants your soul. And the Bible literally right. says that he's coming after you, amen, like a yes. roaring lion. Yes. Something whom he may devour. And when we get in these situations, if we can just realize, amen, that we are bigger through Christ our Lord, amen, and we are bigger than any kind of enemy, bigger than any kind of chain, any kind of prison. My God is a chain breaker. He's a prison shaker. And I don't care what your situation is tonight. My God can bring you through. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> you don't sit in this about it. You're up. I ain't sitting here. Oh my goodness. But anyway, I got Calvin. Calvin's gonna be me and you. Calvin's gonna be us. Amen. And I'll be Jesus. I ain't, I ain't nobody. Let's get that out of the way. I ain't nobody. I ain't Jesus. I ain't far from Jesus. But ahead of Calvin and me is everything that Calvin is gonna face in 2019. Uh huh. That seems like a lot. That seems like a lot. From here, come here, back up, Calvin. Back up. So you can make it even more. From here to there, see, 365 days of having to live for God. That looks daunting. That looks like it's a big task. You stay right there, Calvin. I ain't done. <laughs> that looks like a big task. That looks tough. It looks like a long way to, I know this is, but just visualize 365 days that you have to live for God. Amen. And Calvin, come here, Calvin. Who, I need Thomas. Come here, Thomas. And if Calvin being a skinny guy like me and Thomas being the devil, amen. Yeah. <laughs> Calvin ain't going nowhere. He's not getting past the table. Amen. Because he has put himself in a situation. The enemy has caused hindrances in Calvin's life. Amen. That he is not going to be able to get through with just Calvin. Amen. Uh, you know what? Amen. He will crumple him. Ha! Okay. <laughs> there ain't no way that Calvin is getting through that trial. Because there's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of stuff that we go through. Amen. Amen. There's going to be a lot of stuff that we have to face. And, and trials. And, and may you may lose a job. You may lose some kind of relationship. Amen. But Calvin is stuck here. He gets two months in. And he can't move anywhere. He's saying, God, I just got saved at watch night service. I'm not saying you did. You've been saved a long okay? I just got, you know, I just got a blessing at watch night service. But now I'm stuck in a path, a pit of hell that is a demon. Is, the devil has stopped me. And there's no way that I can get out without the help of God. But if Calvin just continues, amen, to go through, he's going to be crumpling on the face. And he's going to have a big old knot on his head because the devil had just whooped up on him. But if I, he takes the hand of Jesus and says, God, I cannot take anymore. I cannot beat this 250. Excuse me. This big guy. Amen. We cannot, we cannot go through with this. Amen. Come on, somebody. But if we go every day, one day, step at a time, holding on to God, one yeah. step at a time in the Word of God. There you go. There you go. Try to go down with your face. Amen. You can put me in any kind of chance that you want to. And I'm going for the Jesus. We're going to take a step back. And we're going to go down with the anointing. And Are going to make it through. That's right. Right. Yeah. right. We can make it, church. We can make it. It's not impossible. But with the help of an almighty God, we can see glory. Because there's a, we don't just live for God because it's not some kind of goal. We want to go see Him. That's right. And then we want to live in heaven with Him. We want to win lost souls. So we need to stay true to this word and hold on to the hand of God. Thomas, you can hold up. Amen. 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 Keep on praying, church. Don't, don't give up so easy. Don't allow the enemy to come into your life so easy. Right. Stay prayed up. Steadfast. Yes. Unmovable. Yes. Amen. Right. I want to be a church that says, enemy, you ain't going to take us this year. I want to be a church that comes in here and is ready to worship God with everything that we got. I want to see right. the Holy Ghost move yeah. in this church in 2019. Yeah. I want to see souls saved in 2019. I want to see these yeah. pews packed. Not one gap in them. Amen. Yes. And it's not it's gonna take more than me. It's gonna take more than core. It's yes. gonna take God and every single one of you. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Y'all can stand. Thank God. God is good to me. Thank you, Lord. Come some play and just call a general. Go come find your spot. Just pray to God. Help me in 2019. Pray for you, Lord. Come on. Miles and miles Even if you see